All right, so what were some of the questions you had? Like, how would you live stream off YouTube if you don't have, like, from Xbox? Okay, so for that, Xbox doesn't allow you to upload directly through the YouTube app, but I found a way around it. So as you can see on my screen, um, for instance, this was one of the videos uh, that I just played on with Ruse, and I downloaded the Twitch app on Xbox, and there's a tab that says Broadcast. So you're going to go to that tab and then click Broadcast. And once that's done, as you, you can see this right here, right, with the three dots. Yes. So you're going to click that, and then you're going to click Export, for example. You click Export, and it says Export to YouTube. And what this does is allows you to go from Xbox to Twitch, and then from Twitch to YouTube. And you could also make any changes to, uh, you know, if you, since it's a controller, you don't have that much, you know, control over what you type in. But you could fix the title, you could copy and paste the description and make it public. And then, you know, start an export. Now, export to YouTube. So you can see the Let's Play Ruse in the highlight. So when we go here. Let's go to video manager real quick. You can see these two videos from Twitch. I was able to export to YouTube. And we could click on this. But it's just the video, it's not you live streaming on YouTube. No, no, no. Um so if this is one of the ways you could upload your videos to YouTube. But if you want to live stream to YouTube. You have to get one of these um, OBSs for the PC. And there's this app called MoboCrush. And MoboCrush allows you to stream to all of these targets. Or, you know, like Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Mixer, and even their MoboCrush channel to help, I guess, get you out there. So, if, so for instance... If you just stream to Twitch, you only get one possible viewer. But if you stream to five, you know, different sources, that one turns into five. You see what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. And what's nice about that, too, is if you live stream to YouTube through this, it saves it. So once it's done live streaming, it will become one of your videos so you don't have to record it then upload it or go from twitch and then export it to youtube if you live stream it directly to youtube it will be saved automatically and say for instance you know with uh you said you wanted to do it on facebook you could either have it on my wall private or a gaming channel and what i made my own gaming channel here so i put that there you can, you can put mature content for mixer so you don't get flagged and for instance i'm going to be doing a total war three kingdoms stream and it's already on there and then you could put you know total war three kingdoms um yellow turban revolt and then i think you know yellow and then you save the broadcast info. And then you could go live. Once this is done, you could go live. And then, you know, you could change the information as well here. And then once you go live, you go back here. And then you could add the gaming category. So Ruse 2010 recording date today. And then you save the changes. And then when you're on YouTube, you could add some cards here and cards are just you know ways to get the viewer to hey you know I'll, I like this guy's video I'm gonna check out what else he has and then you can actually add a template at the end of the video so one of the templates I like to use is this one 
because it has your profile picture here and you could have two videos or playlists. So what I do, I you know have like the little blooper page and then the actual Let's Play page and I save it and whenever it gets to 47, you know, 10 on the video, this will pop up. What the hell? Okay, so I'll select the video best suited for the viewer. Alright, uh, video unavailable, uh, let's just do this one, everyone likes this one, I'll just put that one on there, that Warframe video after they're done watching this, and then, you know, you could preview it, and you could change the data, you know, this was broadcasted on Twitch, and then it has your Twitch account, so they could go check it out, and it already has hashtag Twitch, hashtag games, public and you can add it to uh, your playlist so I'll add this one to the bloopers page and what I mentioned earlier uh, if you have your laptop available uh, one of the cool things you could do it's in beta but it's called YouTube studio and you could check your channel analytics like how many subscribers you had in the last 28 days the average watch time right, I'm back. and mm -hmm. I'm trying to make a video right now, man. You can have the subscribers in the last 28 days, and your average watch time and views. Oh, okay. And that my OBS top... Yes, you're saying? You need a laptop, or can you do it off a tablet? Well, it's better if you do it off a laptop. But are you going to use a capture card and then upload it through the laptop? Or... No, I don't have a capture card. So that would be you, the best way. So what you could do is get Twitch on Xbox, make your Twitch, and then on your laptop, link it to YouTube. So after you're done broadcasting, you can export it to YouTube. Okay. And, and then for the live streaming, like for YouTube, um, you could also use OBS. The OBS is only. For game for games you play on that laptop. Okay, I got it. Unless you're able to connect the HDMI cable to the laptop, there's no other way around it. You know what I mean? Because this is the game I play on the PC, and it kind of copies what I'm seeing live stream on the screen. And it captures it and sends it to, you know, these five different streams, target, st target streams. Um, okay. So how do you do the Twitch one if I have Twitch on Xbox? You could download, you could download the upload. app. Because I did it right now with the Ruse game because that's the game I played right now on the Xbox. But you have to set up your Twitch account. And then log into that account on the Xbox with the Twitch application on Xbox. And I could. Yeah, uh, I tried it with Mixer one time. I think the video would never showed up. It, it's. I tried getting it from Mixer to YouTube. I've done it multiple times with Twitch to YouTube and even from the Xbox. You know, as you're seeing right now, you know, I have. You know, the whole stream and then the highlighted stream of the game I, you know, played. And uh, I could I could tell you step by step of, you know, how I did it and how you could do it as well, if you would like. Yeah, sure. Would I have to do a... Well, uh... Well, download Twitch on Xbox, right? Right. And then when you're done with that, um, let me just show you real quick. Uh, do you have the Discord video still rolling? Yes. Okay, so for example, um, let's click this channel right here. And this is the beta of YouTube Studio you could log on to with the laptop. And you're going to go over to Editor. And right here, you could trim it. So say you want to get to the better part, you just select the part you want to get up to and then trim it. And you could add, you know, audio. So if you want to 
like add some music to it, like this song. You could you said uh, that you could uh, press a button to make it where it cuts the best parts, of the video, other right? Than just being FK parts or you. Right. So, and you, you could even um, so for trim, you're gonna trim it, and then you could split it too. So you click split. So if you want to cut out a segment like. You know, between this part, you know, you went to the restroom or you had to answer a phone call. It'll go f seem. You can make it seamlessly through there, so you could cut this part out. Or if you know you're just logging in here, and then this is when you start playing, you could cut it up or trim it up to here. But I could go over that too as well uh, after you do, you know, the trial video. And these are some uh, little tips and tricks I've, you know, I've learned um, through watching other YouTube videos and, you know, firsthand experience. You know, okay, I could try it this way, or, you know, I, I didn't know how, because the original 2013 Xbox allowed me to upload to YouTube because I did it before. Uh, yeah, I did see that when I had it. I never knew about that. <sighs> Because that's how I uploaded this video. Let me show you real quick. I uploaded this video from Metal Gear Solid. This one right here. Yeah, it's... Because that's the only platform I had it on, and I was able to upload it. And you can see Xbox One tag. And I don't know why they took it off for whatever reason. I guess they signed a contract with Mixer. But uh, that's one of the ways I found a way around it. And one nice thing about Twitch too is that for a while it saves your stream. So say for instance you stream today and then you don't get to it till like you know a week or two from now, you could still highlight it and then export it. I think only like 15 days and then it goes away. Um, don't quote Can me on that. Can you change 15 days or it's I think it's just, it's just the way it's set up, so it doesn't waste that much data, you know what I mean? Alright, after I download Twitch on Xbox, what do I do from there? Is there something I have to do on Xbox on Twitch, or is that... So, yeah. which, what you're going to do is go onto the Twitch app, and then there's going to be... Get on them then, Twitch I would have, apps. then I would have to leave the or video, right? Uh, it would be broadcast. So I can just exit the video off my phone. Oh yeah, you could exit the video on the phone. But did you have any other, you know, questions, comments, or concerns? I just, I just want to know how to connect Twitch to YouTube. Oh, okay. So I'll do that right now before I exit the video, and I'll, I'll launch Twitch with you. So, I'm on the Twitch app on my Xbox. It's loading up. Okay, I opened in the Twitch app. Um, yeah, man, this takes forever on Xbox. I have a new connection Xbox on Bumble. One X? Yeah, I have the One X. Yeah. And I was thinking about trading my PS4 and Xbox for another graphics card so I could run it SLI. Alright, so... Tell me when you were loaded. Okay, so you see how it has home, browse, and broadcast on the top left. For my phone, it says. No, no, no. Yeah, you have to do it on Xbox. Yeah, home, browse, and broadcast. Yeah. Click broadcast. And then you see how it has. You could change your title and at the bottom left it says start streaming once you're ready to, uh, to start streaming you have your game you know uh, loaded up ready to go and then that's how you'll be able to take the first steps on transferring the videos to twitch and then exporting it to youtube Okay. And uh, that's how I've been able to do it. Hopefully, they have an update where you could just upload it directly to YouTube or even live stream 
directly to YouTube. But until then, this is uh, one of the ways to accomplish that. Uh, did you have waited, like any others that you connected to? Well, what do you mean? I have a video on here recently. Um, I get that video. Um, the only way now is through OneDrive, and it's it's a headache. But I could show you that in another video. Okay. Uh, but for now, related to this video, did you have any other questions? Oh, that's pretty much all right so that's one of the ways to upload xbox footage to youtube through twitch so thank you twitch for that and we'll see you in the next one